The app we're going to be looking at is called QuakeWatch. QuakeWatch is an app that gives us up to the minute information relating to earth tremors and earthquakes around the world. The first screen that we've come onto is categorized as latest and on this slide the information is listed in chronological order with the most recent earth tremor earthquake appearing at the top. If I was to tap on this top one it now takes us to a different screen which gives us a little bit more information relating to that earthquake. It tells us exactly where it is in the world and we have the three maps. On the largest map if I use the pinch function I'm able to zoom out to be able to maybe get a little bit more context as to where it is and if using this in a classroom we could use that as stimulus for conversation about the human impact of the earthquake. I'm able to tap here to see if there's been any other tremors or earthquakes nearby and as it says there hasn't been. In terms of the appearance of the map we can either have it in the standard format or I can also tap on terrain so that we get the physical map which may again aid students when describing the location of the earthquake and the reason why that earthquake may have happened. The next category is biggest. This is where the earthquakes are listed in order relating to their magnitude on the Richter scale. And again, we can tap on there and we get the same information as we did on the previous list. The final two on the categories closest and nearest are very similar. And this just, again, categorizes tremors in relation to the ones that are closest to the iPad being used. So here we have some for the UK at the top going down into mainland Europe. As well as being able to view the earthquakes in this list format, if you were to tap on the globe here at the bottom of the screen, we also get a map which enables us to see the distribution of these earthquakes on a global scale. In addition to the pinheads which shows where the tremors are, we're also getting the plate margins being highlighted, which again would be a great tool for children in the classroom or if they were using this for revision. In addition to looking at earthquakes, the QuakeWatch app also gives us the opportunity to have a look at tsunamis by tapping on the wave icon at the bottom. This takes us through to another screen, which gives us information relating to the possibility of tsunamis in different parts of the world. And this is shown again on a global map, which would help pupils be able to locate and contextualize where these are. Now those are the main features of QuakeWatch.